<laughs> Where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. I love you girls. You know, somewhere out there are four terrible fathers I wish I could thank for this great night. Boys, I don't want to be that guy. I don't particularly care for judging a book by its cover, right? You always want to get the information and, and make choices and decisions for yourself. The only way you can really do that is by reading that book. True enough. But when that book comes with an Oprah sticker, well, that is a that that's a big sign for me to just yeah, I ain't even bothering with that. And people, ladies and gentlemen alike, when you do things such as, I don't know, slap gigantic, uh, 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 a, a different out of uh, unnatural hair color on your head and allow yourself to balloon to a refrigerator type shape, I I can't help but feel like those are gigantic Oprah stickers sitting on, sitting, you know, right out there for all of us to see. And anything that you have to say should be taken about as seriously as a, a, a as the sun, as the sun rising. Okay. <laughs> for the most, like you should trip out as uh, about what somebody with these, uh, with these, uh, Oprah stickers on says, about as much as uh you know you trip out about the sun rising yeah like you know it's just gonna happen it's nothing of value is about to come from this and if you're reading up top oh my lord here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism ladies and gentlemen everybody right now is complaining and tripping about critical race theory and i'm just like all this critical theory bullshit is what gives donut brained shout out bimbos like this the uh the, the ammunition they need to go and live their truths and their realities and their best lives so ma'am by all means take it away here's your reminder that fat phobia is rooted in racism as always if you haven't read this book go do that uh no <laughs> once again no but the book is titled Fearing the Black Body, The Racial Origins of Fat Phobia, written by Dr. Sabrina Strings. Lady, you're listening to a lady. Timothy 212, boys. Timothy 212. Like, I can't. Like, it's, it, it seems unfair. It really does that. Hey, yo, you know, women aren't particularly supposed to be out here teaching and like, but. When you break down, you know, what, like, uh, like how a lot of these people get their ammunition to be like, oh, yeah, you know, this, me being fat is the exact same thing as being black. I mean, this is, this is what gives them their, uh, th their license. This is what connects the dots for them. Ain't no way in shit I'm reading that whack-ass book, lady. And honestly, stop telling people what to, what to read. I, I hate, just despise eyes when people are like man you need to read you need to read now just tell me what it is that you want me to get from it but luckily enough the main thing to understand is that for the last 300 ish years white folks have been marketing fatness as a black trait really so for 300 years it, it, this dips a little bit into slavery funnily enough that's also uh well no, it's actually 100 years uh that fdr was like oh yeah we'll be we'll be having those niggers voting democrat for a, for the next 100 years some change like that like sweetie like marketing 300 years ago it wasn't no damn marketing all right <laughs> like, like you digging all you 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 done taking this all the way back to 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 before marketing and um you know the 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 system and the setup that we have right now was even a thing and my question is how many i mean outside okay because there were fat there were fat slaves right like back in the slave time but that was usually you know the breeders the 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 big maws the like where that stereotype comes in and i have absolutely no doubt that that's in the, um your little book there but as far as like the bulk of slaves yeah they were in pretty they were they were pretty lean to get out there and you know do all the different fun slave activities that they had to do in their day in their like 18 hour days 
And this is regardless of whether or not black people individually were actually fat. That was irrelevant. The message they spread was that black women specifically were ravenous and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. Based? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just... Uh... I'm just laughing at like... Well, uh, I'm saying, like, uh, you know what? Hold on, hold on, cause, 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 just, 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 just want to show you something right quick. No, no, that's not it. Where is it at? A little further down. Other video is done. Ah, here we go. <laughs> So, once again, I'm left to ask, based? <laughs> Look, as someone who has, Great. Again, no, hold on, no, let's, let's, let's draw it on back. There we go. The message they spread is that black women specifically were ravenous and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. Let me tell you something. When you're lazy and we, like not... Sisters, I'm not calling you lazy, all right? What I am saying is that um, what I, I what I particularly see when it comes to you know our our portly siblings and, and uh, siblings and family and like our country our portly countrymen is a lack of discipline. And as I previously illustrated, as well as what you're discussing now. Um, that lack of discipline has been encouraged and propagated. She's not 100% off the mark because I just showed you a part of that culture that re that, that that has pushed that. And we're, and, and have the masterminds uh, behind that been white? I mean, I, have, I, I, I maintain that America is a collaborative effort and the minds behind that were wide and of a of, vary of, of, of was were of various uh races colors and creeds and religions and so because it, there was a ton of money to be made and a sub in subcultures within uh within the american with within america that you know have uh really just take like that like that's that's just the way a lot of them are you can't say that to them because to them they believe that they're perfect they're perfect but that that mindset, that narcissistic, you know, oh, undisciplined mindset. Well, shit, that has been just running rampant all through, like like Hollywood, like Hulk Hogan back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, well, it, it was ratchet mania. Thinness and uncontrollable, and these barbaric traits made them fat. On the flip side, thinness was marketed as a white trait. Again, regardless of whether or not individual white people were actually thin, that was irrelevant. Once again, though, I, I you know, we see fat people also. You see fat people like the, like trying to tie these two things together. I think is just complete and utter bullshit. Like I really do, and this is her. This is a cope, a major cope from this young lady who really needed her father in her life. I, I'm so at this point, I'm just like you know what she they, they, like like they just they they just missing their dad, you know. They just never got that hug, like Chris Rock used to say. It's all it takes is one hug, and oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go off and dye my hair a bunch of weird colors and eat 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 all of my stress and frustrations, and then turn around and and be and become a victim. And so you know, like hard pass on on all this nonsense, sweetheart. But compliment sandwich. You have pretty eyes. All right, she she does have pretty eyes. He's a, this what we're looking at right here is nothing but a mass of wasted potential she could have been hot if she if she had that same discipline that i spoke of but unfortunately that's just not the case the idea was that white women specifically were refined and restrained and this led them to having delicate thin bodies over the years these messages have become more subtle but even today they are still very prevalent in conversations around race health capitalism and poverty Boys, 
I'm going to end this with a little story about a conversation that I had with uh, my aunt and my sister. This was right when I got back to New Jersey from California. And uh, my father was sick and very ill. And we're all in the kitchen. We're talking. We're standing around. We're talking about weight loss. And, you know, all the compliments. Hey, you look great. You look great. You look great. Because while I was out in California, I really started working out a lot. And while we were talking, I was just like, you know, just working out, working out, moving, keeping the body moving, um, watching what I eat, but still eating whatever the hell I want. And then they're just like, oh, well, you have to do this diet, this diet, this diet, this diet, this diet, this diet. No mention of moving, no mention of working out or anything else like that. And here we are 10 years later. And, uh, you know, I am in pretty good, pretty decent shape. All right. There's no rolls, boys. There's no rolls at all. I'll tell you what, if this video gets to like 15 likes, I'll drop, uh, I'll post um, a, a photo of myself just so you guys know. I'm not bullshitting you with this. But, um, you know, and them, they're still overweight. So, yeah, it's about movement. It's about, you know, like, that's why this isn't a fitness channel. Because, dude, it's just work out like like move you about burn burn more calories than you in than you take in you'll be fine and uh that's just not what uh, uh like any like in that in that right there that choice is one that each and every individual has to make and it has nothing to do with your skin color at all so once again give me a second <clears throat> so like i was saying this is uh this is just it's sad. It really is sad. She she really needed that that disciplinary and father figure in her father in her life and you know she filled that hole with food like so many like so many do. But then to turn around and be like, "Oh, well, yes, there's a victimhood and there's a connection between this and slavery." Just it's so damn ridiculous. It's so damn ridiculous. So with that being said, boys, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it. Like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub and enjoy my fantastic voice. And when you get videos like this every single day, share it. Because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here. For very obvious reasons. Bang the bell. For notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. And uh, speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? I mean, like, honestly, that description is like, uh, like, it's and it's not specific to uh just black women no 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 no, no. that's the thing it's it, like that ratchet culture that you know you've seen honey boo boo's mom you like like that 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 oh i just don't care uh vibe that that, that i don't give a fuck energy it is it, it really knows no skin color and it's not an excuse to let yourself go at all but you know that this is what the critical theories do, but you may disagree, and that's what my comment section's for. Until the next one.
Jimmy. You're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think Put that she's, your a, dick away. she's an emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking. <laughs>